Okay, everyone, as promised, I finally got everything set up and figured out how to actually get your network connection to work correctly within VirtualBox if you're in a Windows XP machine. So first thing you actually need to do is, well, actually go to your control panel. Then you wanna go to your network connections or right here, find your good connection and then connect that to your VirtualBox host only network card that you have created. First thing you want to do actually is kind of disable this connection, then re-enable it. Make sure everything is refreshed. Now you go ahead and bridge this connection. Take it to you anyway. If you see this is a gift, that means it's actually saying, oh, you want to actually bridge connection. You're like, yes, I want to actually bridge my connection. Okay, connection has been bridged. Then you go to the settings. For the VM that you're using, this time I'm using Ubuntu as usual. And of course, make sure you pick host only. Hit OK. At this point, you start your virtual machine. And sometimes, being on the safe side, I'll actually disable this again. And then re enable it. This to make sure I have everything connected properly. So now I go ahead and start my VM. It's going to take a while for it to boot up. Okay, now type in my username and perhaps like I did in OS 10. Let this baby boot up and go to work. Actually, one rule of thumb is okay, you have Ethernet connected, and also we'll make sure that's checked for auto ETH4. Make sure this dot is connected. So now you got applications, accessories, and terminal for those of you that are working on an assignment. Right, you guys install Apache, and of course, type in sudo space. Or if you're on a different distro, just type in su and your root password and then type the commands in. So sudo space slash opt slash lampp. Oops, should be slash lampp slash lampp for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, Perl, also known as LAMP, and then start. Type in your password, just have it for an administrator, hit enter, and Apache will start up. Now I go ahead and type in if config to see what my IP address is. And it's right there, so it's 192.168.56. And to verify that, I'll then Go into the Windows IP config to verify my IP address. And it also sees it as 168.56.101.
because it's looking at the bridge network, which is one you don't want to use. It should actually be 103. So then we go to Firefox, let Firefox figure this out. And of course, you type in 192.168.56.103, and boom, you're now connected to your Apache server in Windows. So now both machines are officially seeing each other like they're supposed to, which is good. So that's basically it that I had to show you guys. But now, since our, since my camera's acting real screwy Saturday, I'll go ahead and show you the commands again. So you type in CD slash, kind of just change directories. So I hit DIR to look at the directories like I would in DOS. So that's I want to check into the OBT folder. And while I'm at, I'm also type in LAMP slash HT docs to see what files are actually in there. Oops, sorry, CD slash OPT. Now I type in DR to see what's in here. Ah, I forgot it's two P's. It's L A M P P slash HT docs. And this will show you all the folders that are in your Apache server folders. So this is where you put all your web pages at. So you pretty much you build a folder, there are pages in there, put your index.html for in this case index.php, which will then be your main page. So now I say CD slash again. So now I want to go to my user's home directory. So CD slash home slash W Bowen. Type in DIR again. These are my folders. So if I want to make a directory, I type in MKDIR or MDDIR like you would in DOS. But in this case, I prefer MKDIR. Now I'll type in something like. Mm, so yes, type dir again. Now see how this is there. If I want to remove a directory, I type in rm dir. Now I want to get rid of cis. Type dir again, and it's gone. Likewise, I want to get rid of an individual file. I type in rm, the name of the file, enter, boom, the file is gone. I also type in ls, see other file names, and of course, if I want to see what's wrong, I type in ps for myself and then PSAUX for all the system processes that are currently running. And then of course here's some user information, type in W, shows you some of my information and the process that I'm running. Then I type in who, pretty much shows you my username and the processes that are currently running out of me. And a little less information as you see earlier, because it doesn't say my login times, auto processes and everything else. But I've also typed in who and my just press my username. PS, like I said earlier, shows you my current processes, and then PS AUX one more time shows you all the processes that are currently running. And last but not least, look at your network table. Type in net stat. Boom. So now I think you guys got a very good idea how everything works for VirtualBox for the time being. So at this time, I'll go ahead and end this presentation.